Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. So today we will be discussing about uh, sudden infant death syndrome. So this syndrome is extremely important for clinical point of views as well as your examinations. So this is a sub classification of sudden unexpected death in infancy. This is a broad term uh, under which this SIDS is sub classified. So SIDS is also known as court death. It is also known as court death or crib death. Crib death. Now the sudden infant death syndrome or sudden unexplained, uh, unexplained infant death is basically defined as the sudden death of a seemingly healthy infant. The infant is healthy seemingly healthy infant of less than one year infant is less than one year now whose death remains unexplained even after thorough case investigations we have uh, done thorough case investigation we did uh, all the com uh, the complete autopsy serological toxicological and histopathological and microbiological examination after all these examinations and um, thorough case investigations we are not able to explain the death of an infant so this unexplained death of an infant or a, a baby of less than one year is known as sudden infant death syndrome so please do subscribe forensic extract and please press the bell icon and thank you so much keep on watching stay tuned so guys uh, in sudden infant death syndrome first thing is to ask about history child was quite well and there may be some mild respiratory or GIT symptoms these are mild respiratory and GIT symptoms like uh, there may be common cold diarrhea and all these are mild symptoms may be present and there is sudden death of an infant if child is quite well and mild or ma he or she is having mild respiratory or GIT symptoms now there are uh, in uh, most of the cases this uh, this mystery is unsolved now there are various theories given to explain the underlying mechanism or the pathology of sudden infant death syndrome like uh, some theories uh, regarding allergies just there may be allergies to uh, cow milk allergy cow milk allergy and there may be allergy to house mite house mite allergy so this is uh, the theory related to allergy now something is known as uh, critical diaphragm failure critical diaphragm failure what happens in case of critical diaphragm failure there is a respiratory failure respiratory failure caused by critical diaphragm failure and uh, because of uh, underdeveloped respiratory muscles in child and because of uh, this rapid eye moment sleep and there may be uh, one factor that is prone position sleep prone position underdeveloped respiratory muscles and there is rapid eye moment sleep in which there is frequent change in posture and there is respiratory failure related to critical diaphragm failure this is another theory now some uh, times there is, is deficiency of various antibodies and vitamins like most of the cases deficiency in biotin deficiency of calcium deficiency of magnesium selenium deficiency of various vitamins other vitamin other vitamin like b c d and e their deficiency is also related with sudden infant death syndrome now in some cases it is related to some genetic conditions so genetics 
is also play an uh, an important role so uh, in in some of the cases there may be brain stem abnormalities brain stem abnormalities may be there and some cases there may be cardiac channelopathy cardiac abnormalities like long qt syndrome channelopathies may be there long qt syndrome in which qt prolongation is there long qt syndrome uh, syndrome now <clears throat> in so, some cases it is related to interleukins uh, interleukins what happens this interleukin 1 is basically related for immune and inflammatory responses interleukin 1 is uh, important for immune and inflammatory responses that is coded by interleukin 1 receptor and gene this is the gene that encodes this interleukin 1 and uh, and uh, there are three non variants of this interleukin 1 that is allele 1 2 and 3 in which the allele 2 and 3 are associated with increased risk of sudden infant death syndrome so this is another theory of sudden infant death syndrome now there are various other theories uh, like uh, uh, various infections like staph aureus infections or uh, upper respiratory tract infections so there may be some inflammatory reactions ongoing now uh, the obstructive sleep apnea sleep apnea is another important theory what happens in case of sleep apnea there is prolonged apnea in certain infants so due to this apnea there is hypoxia and death so this is another mechanism uh, infant is basically uh, uh, highest risk of sleep apnea during sleep and some some uh, of the cases these seeds or sudden infant death are related to um, sharing of bed sharing of beds approximately 50 percent of uh, sudden infant deaths occur when infants are sharing a bed with another person so something is known as co-sleeping is one of the risk factor for sudden infant death syndrome now there uh, are some other theories like some uh, uh, habits or children who are made to sleep in prone position so prone sleep position is another risk factor for these kind of deaths now some some toxins related deaths so there are other theories related to toxins what happens uh, some some of the matrices contains uh, phosphorus and arsenic compound as fire retardants fire retardants now what happens uh, due to um, perspiration or warmth of sleeping infant there is uh, infection by mar uh, micro or organism and generation of uh, phosphine and arsine generation of gases like phosphine and arsine like gases and these gases are generated from this material in the matrices due to perspiration of warmth created by that infant or infection by my microorganisms this responsible for poisoning and thus death so this is another theory related to some of uh, toxins now various other theories like uh, there may be sleep induced arrhythmias sleep induced arrhythmia as uh, may be seen in some of the cases now uh, there are various other theories like uh, there may be deficiency of liver enzymes gastrointestinal reflexes problem hyperthermia hypothermia and all various metabolic uh, uh, reactions may be there so various miscellaneous factors related to 
हाइपोथर्मिया हाइपरथर्मिया मेटाबॉलिक चेंजेस एंड द डेफिशिएंसी ऑफ वेरियस एंजाइम्स लीवर एंजाइम्स एंड ऑल सो दीज आर वेरियस अदर फैक्टर्स और रिलेटेड टू सडन इन्फेंट डेन सिंड्रोम लाउ नाउ द एपिडेमियोलॉजी ऑफ सीड्स सो इन एपिडेमियोलॉजी in most of the cases the peak is peak is between 2 to 4 months 2 to 4 months and male are predominantly affected so predominantly seen in male infant now the incidence of sudden infant death syndrome is approximately 0.6 in 1000 cases or 1000 live births uh, so the geographical distribution of sudden infant death syndrome is worldwide so it is distributed worldwide it is something uh, that is related to cigarette smoke or use of uh, drugs like it is related to cigarette smoking and various kind of drug abuse by mother now uh, there is some relation with the birth weight of child like risk is higher in preterm infants if infant in pre infant is preterm then risk is higher and it is also uh, high in low birth weight babies so risk is quite higher in preterm and low birth weight babies generally uh, sudden infant death syndrome uh, cases are immunized less frequently and and later than control so basically uh, the immunization is another factor immunization is enough, uh, another factor that these infants are uh, immunized less frequently than those uh, of not as as compared to normal infants now something related to parents parents uh, factors are also important as uh, the age of mother age of mother it is mostly seen in uh, younger uh, mothers less than 20 years if age of mother is less then uh, quite chances of high now it is seen in alcoholic mothers if mother is alcoholic then there are higher uh, chances of sudden infant death syndromes and mostly seen in uh, low socio economic strata so in poor families there are more chances of sudden infant death syndrome now time of death is always uh, uh, related to uh, basically sleep so death is always during sleep now uh, it is more prevalent in the countries with higher latitude so in higher latitude countries it is more prevalent in higher latitude now there are various uh, sign and symptoms so let's talk about various symptoms so symptoms as such almost all cases of uh, sudden infant death syndrome occurs without any warning or symptoms when the infant is thought to be sleeping so in most of the cases no warning sign no warning signs and no symptoms there may be mild respiratory symptoms mild git symptoms may be there but overall there are no warning sign and no symptoms now various autopsy findings related to sudden infant death syndrome so in autopsy we are going to find out all changes are not seen in any given individual basically uh, these these changes are very variable so first of all external appearance external 
appearance mm -hmm. external appearance is like face is pale facial pallor now there is no ss signs of asphyxia and all so no particular hemorrhages in face and eye no particular now hands are basically cleansed in some of the cases cleansed hand and uh, some some uh, bad claws or fibers may be seen in the hands of uh, infant now in some of the cases there is uh, congenital heart disease like down syndromes and all so down syndrome and in some of the cases child may be having uh, this uh, pneumonia and tracheobronchitis may be seen in some of the cases but one thing to remember is that by definition only significant pathology is discovered once we have discovered any significant pathology it is not SIDS so during autopsy if someone is discovered any significant pathology this is not SIDS so there is uh, uh, the term SIDS should be entered as a cause of death only when either no finding are discovered or very minor finding or uh, insufficient to explain death so minor findings or no findings to explain death to explain death then this is SIDS but if you are getting significant findings of uh, any any congenital heart defect or any infection or any GI problem then it is not SIDS now in most of the cases there may be some milk or blood stain froths may be there so frothing may be blood stain or maybe milk now in respiratory process so respiratory passes are filled with froth or milky vomitus or sh shedding of tracheobronchial epithelial cells may be found uh, may be present on histopathological examinations now various inflammatory signs may be there like signs of inflammations uh, like uh, laryngitis and tracheitis pharyngitis pleuritis uh, may be seen or uh, alone or in combination with each other now there may be some uh, some patches uh, on the surface of lungs so that is insignificant finding some patches may be there on lungs now histopathologically uh, the appearance in sudden infant death syndrome is not that much classic but uh, sometimes there is peribronchiolar cell infiltrate due to inflammation there is peri bronchiolar cell infiltration so this finding may be seen and there may be patchy alveolar collapse patchy alveolar collapse may be seen there may be uh, infiltration of neutrophils lymphocytes monocytes so lymphocytes monocytes neutrophils infiltration may be seen there may be uh, capillary thrombosis and all so thrombosis and all can be seen during histopathological examinations now in in some cases there is brain stem hypoplasia uh, so these findings can be uh, seen in uh, histopathological examination so brain stem hypoplasia is also related to sudden infant death syndrome 
Now, some, some biochemical changes may be seen, like increased level of cytokines, increased cytokines, like interleukin 1 beta, interleukin 6, and TNF alpha. These are some of the cytokines which are raised in blood and CSF. Now something related to medical legal importance of uh, uh, sudden infant death syndrome. So in most of the cases, the infanticide may not uh, may be misdiagnosed as it's due to lack of evidences. So one uh, has to be very clear in their mind while dealing with the case of SIDS because there may be some allegation related to infanticide. Now, one doctor whose name is Roy Mido has given Mido's dictum. So, this dictum is a state that if one sudden infant death is there, one is basically a tragedy. One death is a tragedy. If two deaths are there, then it creates a suspicion suspicion and if three deaths are there and this is murder until proved otherwise so if more than two deaths are there then it should create a doubt in mind related to infanticide and some fall play in that case. Now, SIDS infants can be uh, uh, used, their organs can be used for donation. Earlier, it was a myth that their organ may not be suitable for uh, transplantation, but their organs transplantation uh, can be done for other infants.